Hey guys, it's Sherry from Spending a Yarn. It is hot. <laughs> I just got out of the shower a little while ago. And I'm not even attempting to go outside. There is, I mean, I gotta go out to therapy and stuff this week, but it's hot. So I went to the game store with Raven and the rest of the D and D group, and everybody, all right, everybody had their mini. Um, looking around looking for a mini for me, and I know I'm using the same character, so I know about what I want. And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I can't find anything, and I'm. I was upset, so I. Went home without a mini and just let it go. I mean, geez. It's okay. It's just a mini. There are much worse things in this world to be dealing with and contending with. And uh, I was very upset because now people kept, well, Raven kept trying to interest me in the minis. And I'm going, let it go. Just let it go. It's not a big deal. If you keep poking at me, I'm going to get a little more upset. Come on, let it go. So, um, I, oops, sorry. It's a horrible itch on my arm. Hmm. No, the itches are like horrible, like, ah. But, uh, so I was looking and I was looking and I'm looking at all the minis. I have my old mini. Mm. I'm going into a new campaign, so I kind of wanted a new mini. And that's kind of like the, I don't know, not the bread and butter, but kind of like the, ooh, it's my mini, you know? And you want something tangible, something you can hold in your hand, you know? So, oh gosh, what was it? I went through all the minis, and Raven was planning on cutting one mini staff off and putting it onto another mini for me. I'm like, no, we don't have to do that. Not necessary. It'll be alright. I'm, I'm just fine. It's just a miniature. And eventually, throughout the next one or two years, we play this campaign, maybe even three years, we will get another mini. And my character is a level 10 now. A level 10 druid. Not multi-class, but she did take um, spell adept so that she could get a spell from another um, class. So anyways... I've had a uh, a rough week at that point, and I couldn't really move my hands all this week, so I was getting a little, you know, upset after everything. And let's not forget the internet's out. <laughs> so, well, not at that point, but it is now. Um, our friend came over, and he had a miniature of no, no, uh. remember what they are. I just remember they're small. So the same size as a hobbit and well hobbit halfling and I look at the one he doesn't want to use and would you believe it? It's perfect. It had the staff all wrapped up and looking nice and it just she's perfect. So I asked if I could have it since he's not using it anyway. And he said, yeah. And I was like, yeah. So we're going to work on painting that one. I want to get a little picture of it up, but mm, couldn't do it yet. We were just busy and tired. Yesterday I was so tired. I just, I don't know. With MS, you have extreme fatigue. It just happens. And with it being so hot, that extreme fatigue is right there at you. Normally my hair is up on the top of my head. That's why it's so kinky curly. <laughs> it never dries the same way twice. It doesn't, I swear. But, um... So this week, I didn't get any new dice. I will find those eventually. I was working on a project. Let's see if I can go over I was working on, not a thumb cover, I was working on the body of a butterfly. And this is as far as I got. And I look at, back at it and I'm going, 
they're not as pretty as the other colors, but it'll have to do. So we're going to work on that later. Whew. I've had no internet since Monday morning, Sunday night. So I wasn't able to watch any cool stories or any podcasts or anything. I mean, it was acting up before, but no. Yeah. So I've got the 100 subscriber person's box off, apparently. Um, and apparently I'm planning on doing a random giveaway. I'll probably take like 20 different comments from different videos and on camera roll a d20 and just see how it matches up. I mean, I'll write them down like on a piece of paper or something. That's easy. And that's just my happy mail to somebody, a gift. But anyways, I wanted to show you something that I made a while ago. I probably showed it in my videos, I don't know. But it's actually such a good quality, I might as well show it again. Because I just got back from the uh, d, d store where I tried to, tried to see if anybody was interested in it. I'll probably end up listing, the, listing it on Etsy or eBay. But look. See how it goes all the way from pale yellow green to the whole rainbow up to the purple and then I got the orange um, strings and it's lined so it's perfect for holding little things but I love these little bags I finally got it back I'm so happy everybody uh, not everybody only like one or two people have been asking whatever happened to it well here it is it's very i like it <sighs> i probably should just stick with what i'm good at making bags ponchos and afghans <laughs> honestly then you know what all i can do is get better at it right oh, let's see all the craziness this week uh so far, the internet's been out. Um, my nieces and all them, they're off doing their own thing. Nieces and nephews. <sighs> We're trying to fix the writing lawnmower. Uh, let's see what else. I made spaghetti tonight. <laughs> we'll be enjoying it soon. Um, lots of crazy stuff. Oh, happy belated Father's Day to anybody who watches this and they're a father and they can be a fur baby father they can be a real father a human father yeah. you know what you can be a turtle father turtle daddies are important too <laughs> oh I was going to show you the healing candle oh well it's halfway burned up anyway Walmart's not carrying the big candles like I told you before so I'm going to have to go back and I'm actually wondering if buying the seven day candles then you know the everybody else uses for different religions if that wouldn't be a better bet for right now until they get the bigger candles back i mean once um once all this happens you know once they get the normal candles back that'll be even peachier but oh well I am surrounded by puppy dogs. <laughs> I need the extra love. I'm finally feeling a little bit better. I have to admit, I've been trying to do the uh, herbal infusion thingies every day. And after, it's been almost three weeks now. I, I think in my current state... It's too much effort. I really do. In my current state. It's too hard for me to do. I just started taking the Moringa pills. Again, that I had been taking. Because I stopped taking for a little while. So I wouldn't have any interactions. And my body really missed those pills. Would you believe it? They really did. Um, I, I was surprised. I just, yesterday, I just, oh no, three days ago, I started taking them again. My body just really missed the Moringa. 
Moringa has all kinds of nutrients and benefits, and it's considered a vegetable in some areas of the world. It's considered, uh, it adds nitrogen back into the soil, supposedly, um, and you can grow it supposedly in a pot, so I'm going to try that. And because, hey, guess what? Florida is considered a tropical, subtropical environment. They actually, oh, I don't know, the weather people or who, the gyne uh, gyne uh, the geologists, somebody, somewhere, the people who just say that things are the way they are, supposedly did something with a subtropical title and made it just tropical. So, I think it's something about the hard freezing, and it doesn't hard freeze here. It really doesn't freeze that much at all. It really doesn't. I mean, I'm, it doesn't freeze, which is great for gardens. <laughs> and it'll be great for my Moringa. And, uh, the, rain, uh, the Moringa... You can use as not only does it provide lots of oxygen, good stuff like all plants do. It helps clean the air and filter things out. But uh, like all plants do. Um, ow, 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 ow. Sorry. Spasm. It happens. My mess. It just happens. Um, you can use it as a windbreak. Which I never really thought about it. But it would be a really nice idea i was thinking about maybe planting a hedge in the front yard because we get a lot of wind a lot a lot a lot of wind when it's windy i mean you hear things all over the root system um i do believe it's a shell no 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 it is a tap root system which means that there's just one big root that keeps burrowing into the ground. Which is fun. Because my soil quality right here in this little tiny area is not that good. So hopefully it could improve it a little. I would like it. If it improved it. And I would like a hedge. Hey, you ever seen that movie, Over the Hedge? Hey, I want a hedge. <laughs> Alright, well. Oop. Another spasm. Alright, I guess we're going to cut this short. Mmm. I found... I looked online before the internet went down. I would really like to look up the weather right now, but I can't. <laughs> um, there is an AC Moore about an hour and a half away from me. Maybe it's two hours. It depends on traffic, I guess. And then you gotta figure during the winter it's gonna be worse. Because you're gonna have a lot of the snowbirds down. So it'll be fine. Either way, I'm excited. There's one relatively close within a gas tank. Floored on a gas tank. That's That was a big web page thing. Alright, well. You guys have a good night. Remember, tutti frutti. <laughs> cool. I just like it. I'll have to make, I'll start making more. And this is Red Heart Stripes. I don't, I forget which one. But y'all have fun. Go relax. Leave a uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Hopefully we'll get going and I can work on that uh, giveaway thing. Because I already have the yarn set up to the side with it, for it. And that's a good idea too. If you, you know, if you want to a bag or if you would like a couple skeins of yarn always nice to give it the choice because i've got the D, D players on here too and they would prefer a bag half the time they don't want yarn <laughs> oh and the people who use yarn are like oh no no i want the yarn <laughs> and i'm like all right <laughs> all right y'all have a good day um have a blessed week i'm sorry i didn't get to the full moon thing so Happy belated full moon too. See you guys later.